name's David Gissings, I'm the training and development manager here and over my career I've had the opportunity to coach hundreds of candidates on successful interviews. Now um, I want to cover uh, in a series of videos some short tips that would just be instantly placeable into your interview. Now one of the most common issues or questions that goes wrong in an interview is what is your greatest weakness? How would you describe your weakness? Now the common misconception about this is if someone asks for my weakness I need to give them something that's actually a strength. Every interviewer wants to hear a honest answer in this particular one. They're sick of hearing I work too hard, I'm a workaholic, I'm a perfectionist. They actually want to hear a candidate who's self-aware. So an example might be something that's an actual weakness. However, nothing too hard, nothing too extreme, but let's give an example. Maybe time management is something that typically in the past I've not been great at. I would answer this in, you know, in the past I've been quite bad, or, or in the past time management has been a small issue for me. However, what I've been doing to work with that is work with my manager, work with specialist trainers in the business to understand the best way to time manage. I've been doing online courses uh, to further and, and better my understanding of time management. Now, I'm giving you a weakness, I'm giving you an honest weakness. However, the most important part of this question is to give an example of how you're fixing it. And I want you to use that past word. Past is in the past, it's gone. It's something that's not truly an issue or a weakness anymore, but it is a self-identification. And ultimately, time management is something that people struggle with but a weakness that can be fixed as opposed to a weakness that really isn't. So if we put this into an IT framework, maybe development or any particular technology, my answer to the question might be, well, one of my weaknesses is in this particular technology, uh, maybe a certain area of Microsoft or development. However, what I've been doing and where I counterbalance that is I'm particularly skilled in this area. I've been able to work proficiently in this area and one of the things you're doing there is really highlighting a skill but still highlighting that weakness. I'd also say one of the ways in which I'm trying to improve that is by doing an online course. I'm working in my personal time to understand the technology and why I'm motivated to this position is that it will give me the opportunity to work with that technology more. So ultimately we want a weakness but we want to be able to show where that's now a strength or it will be a strength in the future.